Hello and welcome to the season finale of Queer Dev Did Bits podcast season two. I am Rem and I am your Queer Dev. So for the season finale, uh, as I promised, I'm bringing you the interview with data scientist, career shifter, Jimson Sulit. He is the OG Free Code Camp Manila member. He founded that group that uh, brought people like me into the tech industry. So I promise you the interview is going to be very insightful. Sobrang ganda na naging usapan namin. And I, I was really very excited to release this. But uh, yun nga, ginusto ko na maging part siya ng season ender ko ng, ng podcast. So without further ado, let me bring you the interview with Mr. Jimson Sulit. Um, hi guys, um, I am Rem and welcome to another episode of Queer uh, Dev Tidbits Podcast. And uh, today is a very special uh, episode because uh, compared to and similar to uh, episode or the season one, uh, at the end of the season, I had a, an interview with, uh, with a fellow developer. Right now, I, I'm doing that also, and uh, we are here with uh, Jim Son Sulit. Uh, she is currently a data scientist and working for uh, Lingo Kids in Spain. Uh, it's a startup in Spain that uh, helps uh, kids learn English. So, Jims, thank you. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for your time. Uh, straight from uh, Madrid, Spain. Uh, thank yes. you for... Uh, guesting uh, uh it's been a long time uh, yeah i know it, it's my pleasure that's why i'm also excited to do this <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah gusto lang natin na i, i, i ano i, i ibahagi yung mga kwento natin kung paano tayo nagsimula uh, as, mm-hmm. as developers lalo na galing tayo pareho sa free code camp yeah so yeah maybe maybe you could you could tell uh, our listeners and viewers kung paano ka nagsimula and how you ended up in currently Madrid uh, as a um, uh, data scientist. Um, yeah, so basically I wanted to get started uh, working in tech. So during my undergrad, wala naman akong um, parang tech or com- computer science related courses. I mean, it's just one programming um, course that I took. So I know I have to learn things para makapag-break up into tech ako. So um, I scoured uh, different resources online. So Reddit, ganyan, Stack Overflow, Sakura. And then there I found out about uh, Free Code Camp. Tapos um, the difference about free... Code camp that is different from the other resources that I've seen is a uh, very comprehensive talaga yung curriculum mm. so parang ano siya full stack um, uh, curriculum talaga parang to get you up to speed parang what is front end development back back end development and um, meron din about um, CSS so parang basic yeah. um, design so those skills are very important tapos parang I went through it. And to be honest, hindi ko siya natapos. <laughs> Before I was able to finish it, um, I got a job in tech. Tapos, ano lang din, parang I think um, the same type of um, uh, process I did. Kasi I started as a business analyst, systems analyst. Tapos, when I found out about uh, data science, parang how they use uh, data to... Um, tell stories and to tell to uh, the stakeholders or the business people what's important or where uh, we can look for more opportunities to expand or grow the business. Parang I was really interested about it. So ganun din, same process. Parang I looked for resources online. And ewan ko, parang for me, Reddit 
really worked well because I mm-hmm. found uh, a few friends and some data science mentors there. So, oh, nice. Na, talaga, oh, na parang, parang they post about stuff na things that I want to learn. Tapos I just messaged them and I, I told them parang this is what I'm doing currently. And I don't know if you've seen like resources saying na the worst way of saying um, to ask someone to be your mentor is to mentor me. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it is, uh, it is talaga. So parang uh, don't do that. Parang if you go to or you ask someone to be their mentor, parang you gotta give value as well. Na parang okay, yeah, yeah. Is the, the research that I've done, the work that I've done so far. Parang what do you think are the things that I could do to make it better? Tas parang yun. Ano na sila na yung mag mag uh, ano mag na okay I, I'll mentor you ganyan ganyan without you asking mentor me so nice yun, that, that worked so well for me tapos ano ayun syempre the difference between parang uh, playing with uh, toy data sets and real real life data sets parang sobrang laki talaga ng difference so, uh... um after doing doing my courses ganyan um ayun doon doon mas doon ako mas natuto so experience talaga i mean i didn't have a masters or a phd in um stats or what not so experience talaga matters pero it starts with you um having that mindset of learning and um being accountable of your mm. own um personal goals yun Nice. <laughs> Parang yun, na-summarize mo agad ng ano, yung, 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 yung uh-huh. pero alam ko mahaba yung gano'y, eh. yung yeah. naging, naging talagang journey mo eh. Take us mm-hmm. through, paano, sa, 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 sa simula, sa simula, mm-hmm. paano mo nalaman na gusto mong pumasok sa tech? Ano yung um, naging driving force? I'll be honest ah, kasi yung initially talaga, my family were not that rich. Uh-huh. And really need money, and uh-huh. I know, and I've read that there's money in tech. Yeah. So that's one of my main motivations. So I'll be honest about that. Because hindi naman talaga kami may. Oh, oh, oh. So, and parang I know, parang kahit pa paano, I have decent math and logic skills. So and yun den parang I love reading about um so many stuff about psychology and business so parang while well, i was reading about how to break into tech parang i've also read a few resources about growth mindset ganyan lifelong learning so siguro yun lang din yung isang ano isang um challenge when i was starting um that uh, constant nagging thought in your head that you're not good enough uh, for yeah. the ganyan. So, even up until now, parang I still get it. Pero, yun nga, yung imposter syndrome, syndrome, it's something that you have uh, you have to manage na minsan talagang, ano, talagang, ewan ko, parang <laughs> tama ba itong pinapaso ko? Like, yeah. tama ba itong ginagawa ko? So, always there, bro. Hindi siya nawawala for me. Uh, Pero, ano lang din, siguro, you, you have to take it uh, one step at a time. Tapos, don't set yourself up for failure na parang sobrang laki ng mga ano mo. So, parang ganun eh. Before, medyo grand yung mga ano ko eh, yung mga goals ko eh. Pero, nung in-scrap ko siya, parang sige, etong, etong module na lang ito muna or topic uh-huh. yung munahin ko. So, pag ganun, parang it, it gets easier, it gets more uh-huh. more um, manageable talaga. Uh-huh. Less And, overwhelming like, din, no? Yeah. So, ang ginagawa ko parang um, when I got into my first job sa tech, ano talaga, parang during my free time, talagang nag-aaral talaga ako kasi nag allocate talaga ako. Whether it be parang videos or parang codes that I will try o kaya naman siguro mas ano, mga discussions din sa Reddit, ganyan. Yun, medyo doon ako na, uh, parang umiikot sa, mm-hmm. sa tatlong yun. Nice, nice. So, yeah. Before ka tumalon sa ano sa sa tech. Uh, ano ano yung ginagawa mo? 
ano yung parang work mo or uh, background mo before you uh, actually decided to, to transition? Before ako mag-tech, um, sa, yung sa undergraduate sa UP, parang mm-hmm. IE, Industrial Engineering. So yun mm-hmm. yung parang for that course, isang ano, isang programming course lang yung kinuha ko. Uh, uh, sa engineering, madalas yun yung isa lang eh. So, to be honest, ano yun eh, parang ginapang ko yun eh. Tres lang uh-huh. din ako yun eh. Tapos parang because of that, parang sabi ko, shit, hindi yata ako for programming. Tapos uh-huh. parang... For the longest time, talagang iniiwasan ko yung ano, yung programming. Kaya yung consideration ko when it comes to entering tech, um, mga less programming jobs or more on the business. Iwas side. talaga. Oh. <laughs> Oo, kaya, business, analyst, business, business analyst, technical writer, yung mga ganyan. Tapos parang eto, parang I ended up uh, in data science na parang you need to have like a decent uh, set of programming skills talaga. So, I would say na parang iniwasan ko siya for the longest time pero parang na, na balik din ako na may ano, may programming. So, ayun lang din. Parang siguro if ko compare ko, parang nag-improve naman yung programming skills ko. And it's... it's, it's sure. It's, oh. It's a long process for me. It's a long process for me. That's for sure. Gano'n ka tagal bago ka nakakuha nung ano mo, yung first job mo? And what was your first tech job? Um, ano siya? First tech job ko is um, systems analyst. And the good mm-hmm. thing, kasi um, siguro when I started parang looking into tech jobs, parang that was... Um, 2013, 2014. So parang mga 6 to 8 months din akong naghanap. That mm-hmm. was before I found out about Free Code Camp. Ah. Tapos parang nung nakita ko na si Free Code Camp, parang I was in the process of ano na applying to um, tech jobs. Tapos parang uh, I got into Ay, the ano uh-huh. parang ano na. While I was in the job, parang my first job as a systems analyst. So maganda rin kasi they provided uh, the trainings ganyan. Although may 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 bond kami for for ano for Three uh, years. Uh, Pero ayun nga, while I was doing the, the free code camp curriculum, parang ano rin, parang I was also applying for um, other jobs. So hindi ko na tinapos yung bud ko. So binayaran ko lang siya kasi uh, laki din yung, nung ginop nung salary ko. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Siyempre. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about yun, yung free code camp na yun, kasi ilang beses na natin nabanggit yung free code camp. Pa, paano siya nakatulong sa journey mo? And, uh, you know, ano yung naging motivation mo naman para, ano yun, buuin yung community? Kasi na, mm-hmm. na, napakalaki ng naging tulong ng community sa atin, uh-huh. sa ating dalawa, and uh-huh. even other people. Eh. Parang ang dami, na, ang dami mm-hmm. natulungan nung, nung, ano, eh, nung ano, na makatalon into, uh-huh. into, into tech eh. So, what was going through your mind nung, nung inisip mo na uh, try, kaya natin buuin itong uh-huh. community na to? Um, siguro, ano, parang from from the different resources or parang forum, um, online boards that I've seen, parang I've seen that there are so many people that has the same struggles as me, but they don't have that, ano ba, parang... Uh, level of research skills that I have or uh-huh. parang even the resources that I have. So parang alam mo yun, parang it's also an advocacy part on me to democratize that information by building a community kasi parang ang dami, nakakatuwa lang din na parang um, some of them parang they found jobs because I gave this resource, that yeah. resource. Na parang ako... Ano talaga siya parang kinalkal ko talaga sa ano sa web tapos parang syempre parang naisip ko rin sayang naman if I won't share it diba tsaka ako parang I believe na if if you give to the world parang the world will give back more to you yep, yep. so talagang nakita ko rin yan when I was building the community so parang yung mga taong nagtatanong even before free code camp parang Ano din, parang it opened up so many opportunities, parang na-expand yung network ko. Basically, parang ako na lang din yung pipili na ng trabaho. So parang yeah. those are just some of the perks. Pero 
parang it feels good to to help people kasi nga parang some of them parang sabi um, hindi nila alam na may ganto na may yeah, ganyan yeah, yeah. Or parang uh, uh, uh. some of them parang they have this mindset na ano parang ah kasi ganto lang ako parang uh, liberal arts grad ako or parang eto mm-hmm. lang yung ano ko I'm not from this school or that school so parang ano yon parang those are some of my struggles na parang na conquer ko naman with with help of people as well I mean yeah. I didn't make it on my own. So parang it's just, for me, it's just logical to pay it forward, di ba? So, yeah. That's, I guess, that's the reason why. Yeah. Sa mga, re, ano, mga listeners na hindi, hindi familiar, uh, Precode Camp is, is, is a platform for learning how to code. So, uh, Jimson here uh, founded the Free Code Camp Manila, which is, which is a ano, uh, support group for Filipinos na nag-aaral through free code camp and free code camp is totally free so if uh, if you're uh, interested in learning how to code not necessarily to land a tech job just you know yeah. learning how to code mm-hmm. you should check out free code camp and of course maybe you know if you're interested join free code camp manila and uh yun nga sabi ni James tsaka personally kami dalawa malaki na itulong sa amin ng community Mm-hmm. and uh, yun tsaka yung mga marami kami nakilala sa, sa, sa community niyon and uh, it, it's it all started kasi Jimson here yun nga parang naalala ka yun eh nagpost ka sa, sa dun sa Facebook group eh parang wa, wa, parang wanna meet wanna meet up tapos di ba parang uh-huh. yung first meet up natin parang lilima lang ata tayo nun eh uh-huh. <laughs> parang ganun di ba parang tapos, di, na, di naman natin alam na then parang wala lang parang gusto lang natin mm-hmm. yeah. ano, di ba magkita-kita tapos you know, uh, share share lang yung kung ano yung experiences and insights mm-hmm. then di natin alam na magiging ganito pala no? years after no, na okay. ang dami na tulungan di ba no, do never siya naging official or ano uh, legal entity or something parang ano no. parang every every few months nagkikita-kita then you know, no. exchange notes So, mm-hmm. yun, yun. Uh, so, to anyone who's listening na hindi alam ang Free Code Camp Manila, ganun, ganun yung, ganun yung naging, ano, naging, naging kalakaran <laughs> ng, ano, ng, ng group. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, pero, sa'yo, Jim, sa, sa case mo, medyo, ano, medyo, bukod sa pagiging OG, <laughs> OG, ng, ano, OG ng mga career shifters <laughs> ano? kasi, kasi nung panahon natin hindi pa sikat yun eh, di ba? hindi pa, di pa oh, ganun yeah, ka yeah, yeah. naghanap eh. parang paano ba kaya, kaya ba talaga parang an- an nangyari uh, lalo na in your case you you opened up the, ano, eh, the, the possibilities for the next generations of learners eh. para, para na oh pwede pala pwede palang ganito nagagawa ng iba so ganun um tag dito mas special mas special pa yun sayo bukod nga sa ganun dahil parang technically parang dalawang beses ka na gano eh nag-shift ng career eh. oh yeah diba? parang <laughs> parang ay nagawa ko na minsan gagawin ko pa uli oh, <laughs> what 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 ano yeah, yun yeah, nga yeah. Ano? totoo yan totoo yan parang nagawa ko na siya from from business systems analysis tas parang data science tas right now ah kasi more product side um uh, uh. Um, yung yung sa last uh, job ko sa Philippines parang may mga responsibilities na product management related and so far parang I I'm liking it and I, uh, I like uh, uh. it so parang I'm also considering parang pivoting to product <laughs> management kasi di ba totoo naman eh totoo yan oh, eh, oh, oh, oh. parang oh, kaya na kaya ulit eh, di ba maybe <laughs> the second third time around di ba pero ayos nga yan eh. Parang ano eh. Papunta na ng ano yan. Startup founder. Uh, <laughs> yung mga ganyan. Yung mga ganyan kasi eh. Ang dami mo na ako yung skills eh. Tapos ayun pa. Yung sinabi ko yung ano. Di ba kasi. Di ba ikaw din parang startup founder. Parang nga. When, when, nung simula-simula pa. Di ba parang we were joining parang startup events. Mga pitching uh-huh. events. Ayun. Ang dami rin na, 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 napuntahan. Tapos yung Google Hack Fair parang nag nagparticipate din ako doon. So yung mga tech events na ganyan parang I guess um 
aside from free code camp and the free code camp community parang it's also nice to get acquainted with the local startup community the local mm-hmm. tech community mm-hmm. kasi doon mo rin parang matututunan ano ba yung mga hinahanap nila sa mga um, tech uh, tech workers or tech professionals ano yung mga skills or yung mga technologies na parang okay i-check out or explore right now so yon nakatulong din yon and hopefully mawala na si covid di ba para yun nga yun nga yun yung networking no napakahalaga talaga sana natin sa no. lalo na pagka ano ka career shifter napakalaking value no. ng network na yan no. yung may support group ka no <laughs> so pero inisip mo ba kung ano na does it cross your mind cross, cross your mind na ano yun, to find to found the ano this startup um Oo naman, I think siguro yun din yung ano, yung reason ko kaya parang I joined startup event before. Parang with friends some nga. Some uh, friends iba galing London sa Free Code Camp. Uh, Pero siguro down down the line talaga. Ano pa? Um again, siguro maybe this is the imposter syndrome or parang the overthinker in me na parang I need to have that ano parang perfect idea actually hindi naman kailangan na perfect, <laughs> oh, diba? yeah. parang you just need to solve uh, the pain point of a certain group or ano or certain ano parang types of people ganyan so siguro ano we'll see we'll see pero ngayon parang ang ano i don't know if you've seen the 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 blog ba yan tech blog ba yan not parang 12 for 12 ano yun Parang it's um he created 12 not really startups parang apps parang ah. one per month 12 for 12 yung Ah okay okay parang narinig ko nga oo. Oo. So parang I think it's nice kasi I consider myself more of a thinker and I think the the, the next level for me is to be less of a thinker but more of a doer. So uh-huh. parang uh-huh. I mean have have that builder's mindset. So uh-huh. I think that is is very important and pag pag founder ka talaga di ba kailangan you have a high um uh high orientation for execution and implementation yeah. so ayun I think yun yung kulang ko pa kaya parang okay hindi pa hindi pa ako ready uh, to be a startup founder so ano pa yeah, uh, tayo pa inaaral <laughs> oh toto <laughs> Uh, so, yun nga, uh, currently nasa data science kay, di ba? Siguro ano, uh, take us through the the, the journey. Uh, mm. paano kasi ako ako mismo na ano kay parang nakikita ko uh, doon sa observation ko parang yung shifting from another industry to sabi natin web development. Uh, it's relatively mm. easier than shifting from yeah mm. another industry to data science. Yeah. Parang yun nagkita. Mm. Does, 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 does that uh, ring ring true? Nung ganon na observation or uh, similar lang sila. Uh, I think yeah. At some point, um, there's there's a certain level of truth to that. Because if it's a totally different industry or discipline talagang ang dami mong aaralin eh yung, especially the basics or the foundations pero if it's like a cognate or a relate, related discipline parang mm-hmm. alam alam mo na eh alam mo na kung ano yung mga um ang tawag dito pero i think what's applicable for both is um to um attack it or parang to to tackle it with a need to know basis Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it also works from for those na coming from a totally disip, uh, totally different discipline. Like for example, what I did when I started, um, I looked for companies where I really want to work, mm-hmm. and yung mga job openings nila, as in parang inanalyze ko yung mga mga requirements, mga job responsibilities. Siguro I I initially I looked at 10, 20 companies, and uh-huh. I I um, observed and uh, identified what are the similarities in the skills in the job ah, nice. responsibilities that they have. Okay, Tapos, okay. I started from there. Kasi tamad ako. <laughs> yeah. Tamad ako. Yes. So, uh, okay. okay. Ito pala yung mga skills na ano. Kailangan ko unahin. So, that's Python, SQL, 
ano, uh-huh. basta basics about databases, usually yon And Jupyter Notebook, ganyan. So, it worked for me and I think it will also work for, ano, for, for those coming from a totally different discipline. Pero, siguro, since may foundation na ako nung mga uh, tech skills, ano na lang din, parang supplement na lang nila kung ano yung mga foundation talaga. And I think that the CS50 course of Harvard. Ah, is Harvard, really yeah, good, yeah. Right? For, for, for oh, oh sobrang ganda nun. Oh, 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 oh. sobrang yeah. ganda nun. Yeah, so, uh, oh, sa mga listeners, Harvard CS50. Yeah. Libre lang yun sa, ano, sa EDX. Yeah, libre pa? lang din. Oh. Libre lang yun. Although pwede mong, pwede mong bayaran para doon sa certificate, but uh-huh. kailangan yung certificate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for, for the learning, sobrang, sobrang solid uh-huh. nung Harvard CS50. Mm-hmm. Sobrang sikat din nun. So yeah, yeah. Uh, ang ganda nung, ano, ganda nung sinabi mo, yung tipong uh, titignan mo yung mga responsibilities ng mga bawat companies to Uh-huh. Then, you know, collate kung ano yung kailangan nila talaga. Yeah, oo. Pwede ba ma-expound mo yun? Kasi parang ano, sobrang interesting nung ginawa mong yun. Parang... Ano, uh, what I did initially, hindi pa ako magaling kasi sa NLP nun eh. Parang nilist uh-huh. down ko. Uh-huh. Tapos parang, ano, yun nga, yung mga nakita ko talaga, parang in terms of tech skills, usually Python or SQL. Hmm. Tapos, ano rin, parang com skills is very important for Ay, ano, oh, oh. for data science. Yeah, so yeah, parang yeah. ayun din siguro it's it it really helps that I did mock interviews with friends ah. or sometimes with myself on the mirror okay, so parang okay. it really helps. So sa interview siguro um ayun nga parang uh, you really have to anticipate as well what will be the the usual questions pag pag nag nagugo search ka naman parang yung mga typical questions uh, 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 so parang it's just a matter of you familiarizing uh, yourself how the the interview process goes ano yung mga usual na questions even behavioral questions ganyan so ano lang din parang kung tutusin parang it's another uh workload talaga So you, mm-hmm. you really have to trabaho eh no. Yeah, if yeah. if serious ako na to 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 jump. Ayun. Yeah, yeah. So, that's ano, uh, you, you, you know rem diba parang ano. I I also lo- love taking online courses. So parang sangkatutak ah. yung mga certificate ko. Tapos <laughs> parang nakabang ako sa mga pa scholarship ni Udacity kasi magkano din yun eh 1000. Uh, oh, diba? mahal yun. Wala yung Udacity oh. Honestly, those certificates, parang the certificates itself, parang it don't mean anything. Uh, as in, uh-huh. I would say na parang the certificates itself, it don't mean anything. Um, ano talaga, yung, yung projects and skills na nakuha mo dun, pag na-elaborate mo yun sa mga interviewers, um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. they will be impressed or talagang they will see na parang, ah, okay, he, he knows what, what he's doing, ganyan. So, ano, siguro focus less on the, on the, on, yep. the, on parang, um, kumbaga, selling the certificate, but more on the skills and the projects that you did, and make sure you know the ins and outs of those projects. So, yeah. Yep, yep. So, yeah. paano ba yung, ano, paano ba yung typical na data science interview na, na mga na, naranasan mo? Ano yung mga patterns na nakita mo? At saka mga questions na usual na tinatanong? Um, ano, usually, di ba may initial screening parang sa mm-hmm. HR and more behavioral or parang checking your past um, experiences. Medyo madali yun. So, yung sa mga tech interviews na na-experience ko, may m- most of the uh, interviews that I experienced, uh, mga parang case type talaga. Parang given ah, a use case. Okay, okay. Uh, given a use case, parang what would be the best approach. Ganyan. May ano eh, may, may isa ako na ano, na experience na hindi naman ako nag-go through up until the end talaga. May ano sila, codility na parang ano, um, it's, it's yung... a uh, coding test. So, parang uh, uh, more Python uh, and SQL siya. So, if you know, siguro, like, intermediate level, carry naman yun. So, pero most of the, uh, ano, interviews that I've experienced, mga ano talaga, mga 
case type, parang given a situation, parang what's the best best approach or parang ano na yung mga nagawa mo, tapos parang mm-hmm. if you deployed, mamadalas daw parang, kasi nagtatanong din ako sa mga friends ko eh, kasi pag, pag ano, um, na, na-experience ko rin, parang inaska ko, parang nakapag-deploy ka na ba ng model sa production, I think it's it's a, a, a huge thing talaga. Mm-hmm. Na if you're gonna look for a job, um, find a company na parang at least makapag-deploy ka sa production. Yeah. Kasi mm-hmm. dami, at daming ano, parang data science jobs or parang um, ang tawag dito um, pretending that it's a data science job na hindi ka makapag-deploy ng model sa prod. So, it's it's a huge thing. Tapos parang kahit mag-overview ka nung end-to-end how to deploy it, mm-hmm. ganyan. So, important yon And I think yung ano rin, parang cloud computing skills. Like for us, we're using AWS. So parang at least if you get to talk a few of the things na na experience mo when it comes to deploying models, I think ano na siya, malaking ano na siya, plus na siya for you as as an applicant. And ayun din eh, even with yung mga bagong courses ngayon, mm-hmm. ano na rin sila, parang nag-integrate na rin sila ng parang deploy your first model in the cloud, ganyan. So, it's, it, it would be nice if you get to experience that kahit basic model lang talaga. Grabe na, sobrang daming dinadaanan eh. <laughs> na, 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 na discipline ng ano, na data science eh. Yeah, no? ano, oh, maabot oh. na kayo sa cloud engineering eh. Oh. Yeah, totoo. <laughs> Ma, ano nga eh, parang, I don't know if na-mention ko sa'yo, parang may pagka-unicorn yung ano eh, naging experience sa so parang ex- um, exposed sa data data engineering side ganyan tapos exposed din sa siguro a few of uh, devops uh, practices dito sa ano ha, sa Philippines sa feel ko maraming mga ganun eh parang hybrid type na ano, uh-huh. which is nice kasi you get to acquire um, uh, related skills then like for example gusto mong um, you realize na mas gusto mo pala maging data engineer di ba So it helps. Nice, nice. So tag dito. Um, of course, hindi naman lahat ng ano, lahat ng interviews they go well, di ba? So may mga times na parang yun, you 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 botch the interview. Kamo sa yung batting average mo sa, sa mga ganon sa applications. Uh, um, how many in? Sabi natin in 20 interviews do you get you know an offer? Siguro, I would say, ah, parang in, in 10, siguro makakuha ako ng mga 4 or 5 na ano. Ah, maganda. Oh. Oh, decent na yon Decent yon oh, Decent na siya, oo. Oh, oo. Oh, oh, oh. Siguro, Pero, ano, yun, ah, sige, go. yun lang din eh. I think, ano siya, malaking interviewing is another set of skills. And I uh-huh. think pag naghahanap talaga ako ng trabaho or kailangan ko ng mas maraming pera, parang <laughs> ano, talaga <laughs> ginagaling. So, Ibang so, motivation yun. Eh. <laughs> oh, talaga, ano, siguro, one of the interviews that um, I really know na I effed it up, um, ano, the, the, the thing that they were asking, parang hindi ko siya na-review talaga. Tapos uh-huh. parang siguro yung naging default ko is parang nag-motherhood statements na lang ako. And uh-huh. parang, <laughs> oh, para lang may masabi. Pero I think it's better, parang uh, reflecting on that experience, it's better um, now to know what you don't know and to tell yeah. it. Like for example, okay, I, I don't have experience in that. Tapos maybe offer a, a related experience. Or parang if they're looking for something, siguro, um, tapos you know na you don't have experience in it, you could divert it to by talking na um, how much of a fast learner you are, yeah. how much of a proactive learner you are. Parang ganon na parang, okay, you know na you don't have that skill, but this is what I can offer. So, di ba, at least parang you get to answer it decently or parang, okay yung answer mo kahit pa paano. Ganyan. Ayos, ayos. So, ano yun nga? Uh, yun, mga ganun, mga nakaka-experience ka ng failure. Especially nung nagsisimula ka pa lang na hindi ka pa nakakatalo ng tech. Uh-oh. 
how did you you know manage to handle yung failure na yon and what what's your, what 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 was your ano, your your mindset towards mm-hmm. failure and how you overcame uh yung yung mga ganun na situation um siguro ayun nga parang yung isang mindset na that helped me is to kind of be stoic about it na parang to, to not attach that failure to you yourself your your identity kasi mostly it all boils down to skills and experiences and those things can be acquired so you you really have to like practice you really have to i know parang put in the hours kumbaga ano lang din parang especially if it's a company that i really mm. like so parang at the end of the day parang i will just say na parang at that time at that moment parang there i'm not the one that they're looking for parang yeah. ganun na lang din so i guess it helped um ease up on things and It doesn't it doesn't stop on parang okay thank you next parang it doesn't uh-huh. stop there. parang you have to write down and list parang san ka nagkulang and make sure that next time okay ka na doon or parang you have it covered kasi what's the point of failing diba if you don't learn from yep, it yep yep <laughs> ulit ulit lang <laughs> so you have to make sure na at least you you write down so ano parang sometimes talaga parang nagaska ako sa mga um, recruiting managers na if I could take down notes kasi baka ah, ah, ah. Hi, this is Kuya Dev again. So that was the first part of my interview with Mr. Jimson Sulit. So hindi pa tapos 'yan. Meron pa ulit yung last part ng interview next week. Which is incidentally is the last episode for the podcast season 2. So kung nagustuhan niyo yung kanina, magugustuhan niyo rin yung next week. Uh, I guarantee. Sobrang insightful ng buong usapan namin ni Jimson. Sobrang ganda. So I'll see you again next week. This is Guyad Kuya Dev and uh take care everyone. Thank you for listening. Bye.